Chapter 2. She heard laughter. At another table, someone yelled, Way to go, Steve! She whipped her head around to see her friend Steve Boswell standing behind her, a mischievous grin on his face. Gotcha, he said, letting go of her shoulder. Steve pulled out the chair next to Carl Beth's and lowered himself over his back. His best friend, Chuck Green, swam his foot back onto the table and then sat next to Sabrina. Steve and Chuck looked so much alike. They could have been brothers. Both were tall and thin, with straight brown hair, which they usually hit under baseball caps. Both had dark brown eyes and goofy grins. Both wore faded blue jeans and dark colored long sleeve t-shirts, and both of them loved to scare Kari Beth. They loved to startle her, to make her jump and shriek. They spent hours dreaming up new ways to frighten her. She vowed every time that she would never, never fall for one of the stupid tricks again. But so far, they had won every time. Carly Beth always threatened to pay them back, but in all the time they'd been friends, she hadn't been able to think about anything good enough. Chuck reached for a few remaining chips in Sabrina's bag. She playfully slapped his hand away. Put your own. See if I would crank all hunk of aluminum foil under Carly Beth's nose. Want a sandwich? I don't want it. Carly Beth sniffed it suspiciously. What kind is it? I'm starving. It's a turkey sandwich. Here, Steve said, and he got to Carly Beth. It's too dry. I'm off without the mayo. You want it? Yeah, sure. Thanks. Carly Beth exclaimed. She took a sandwich from him and peeled back the aluminum foil. And she took a big bite of the sandwich. As she started to chew, she realized that both Steve and Chuck were staring at her with big grins on their faces. Something tasted funny, kind of sticky and sour. Carly Beth stopped chewing. Chuck and Steve were laughing now. Sabrina looked confused. Carly Beth uttered a disgusted groan and spit the chew-up sandwich hunk into a napkin. Then she pulled apart bread and saw a big brown worm resting on top of the turkey. Oh! With a moan, she covered her face with her hands. The room erupted with laughter. Cruel laughter. I ate a worm. I'm going to be sick. Carly Beth groaned. She jumped to her feet and stared angrily at Steve. How could you? She demanded. It isn't funny. It's... it's... It isn't a real worm, Chuck said. Steve was laughing too hard to talk. Huh? Carl Beth gazed down at it and felt a wave of nausea rise up from his stomach. It isn't real. It's rubber. Pick it up, Chuck urged. Carl Beth hesitated. Kids all through the vast room were whispering and pointing at her and laughing. Go ahead. It isn't real. Pick it up, Chuck said, grinning. Carl Beth reached down with two fingers and reluctantly picked a brown worm from the sandwich. It felt warm and sticky. Got you again, Chuck said with a laugh. It was real. A real worm. With a horrified cry, Carly Beth tossed the worm at Chuck, who was laughing wildly, and she leaped away from the table, knocking the chair over. As the chair clattered noisily against the hard floor, Carly Beth covered her mouth and ran gagging from the lunchroom. I can still taste it, she thought. I can still taste the worm in my mouth. I'll pay them back for this, Carly Beth fought bitterly as she ran. I'll pay them back. I really will. As she pushed through the double doors and hurled toward the girl's room, the cruel laughter followed her across the hall. Chapter 3, next time folks. And happy Saturday too.